Okay, so we've set up our base unit. So after putting in the fixed position in that information menu right at the end of the last video, I then simply clicked OK and it starts logging base data. So now that we've got the base logging data, we can set up our rover. So as I said before, this needs to be done once the base is already set up. So we've got the rover backpack here. Most of the setup is very similar to that of the base. So we have a slightly different antenna, simply because unlike the base, this can't receive information from beacons. And we have poles to adjust the antenna height. Now the antenna actually goes on the backpack. So we've got two brackets at the top of the backpack here, and we simply attach one of the poles to this. As with the base unit, we have the same equipment. So theoretically, the, ba the base and the rover backpacks are interchangeable. You just need to make sure you've got the right antenna on the base. So we once more have a data logger. We once more have a cable that runs from the batteries to the data logger, and which also has a connection for the GPS receiver. Now in this case, unlike the base data, we're not going to carry a car battery around with us all day because we're walking across doing survey. So we have these two little clips that simply attach to the GPS batteries, which are here in the backpack. And we simply slip these clips onto the batteries. It's very uh, straightforward. And then we can simply stow the batteries back in the sleeves that are available for them in the backpack. So the backpack is very well designed to allow you to carry all the equipment around through the day. So that backpack cable, the uh, sorry, the battery cable, once again has a, co a connection here, which goes onto the receiver and just goes once again into port B. So we can simply fasten that on, the same as we did previously. The far end of this uh, this stretched bungee cable is once again a receiver that goes a uh, cable that goes into the base of our data logger. So we connect the data logger. Now we need to connect the antenna. So the antenna simply screws onto the top of the antenna pole. We can use as many or as few poles as we like for comfort. However, we do of course need to make sure that the antenna height is measured and input to the system. And we'll do that in just a moment. And then the final component that we need to make sure we've, we've attached is the antenna cable. So this has two ends in this case one of them is slightly larger than the other if it's got uh, an attachment added to it this is the one that goes into the antenna itself so we simply as with the base screw this on to the antenna so it's nice and tight and it's fixed and the opposite end of that cable once again runs into the receiver unit into the port conveniently marked antenna so we've attached the receiver to the antenna and to the batteries and the data logger to both the receiver and the batteries. So we can now close up the backpack and this is the unit that we'll then carry around as we do our survey. However, there's one more thing that we need to do. Simply stow all these bits and pieces in the backpack which we'll carry around with us. So the backpack is all set up now. I'll pick up the backpack and put it on. Now the antenna height is very important. If we're going to have a consistent height uh, and we're going to have accurate height readings for both the base and the rover, we need to know the antenna heights. So once I've got the backpack on at a comfortable height, I can turn on the software and go into the menus. Again, I'm not going to show this on the video because you're not going to be able to see it on the screen. But the most important information that I need to change on the, uh, on the data logger is going to be the antenna height. So, you need to, at this point, get somebody else to measure the antenna height for you because you need to know what it's going to be set to when it's going back. <laughs> on the same side as the antenna, mate. So Ash has helpfully measured me up and today with the backpack adjusted as it is, my height is one six or rather the antenna height to the base of the antenna is one six zero five meters. So one point six zero five meters. So as with the base, I simply go into the logging settings 
and specify this in the antenna settings. And once I've done that, I can then open a data file and I can set that data file up as I like. So if we had used a uh, custom data dictionary, I can choose to use that. And one of the options that you have, which you can enable in the logging settings, is to have the GPS logging points in the background between features that you've recorded. And this is a very valuable setting. We'll talk about this a bit more in the manual and potentially in a few videos where we actually look at the screen in more detail. But this allows you, whilst going out and recording specific features that, you, that are of interest in the field, so for example here we've been recording fossil locations and lithic locations, during that survey, whilst I'm walking between sites, in the background the GPS can be logging points. In this case we've had it set to every metre, and this means that we'll get information, positions logged all the way across the basin as we walk. We're also walking a systematic survey to make sure this information is consistent. And then we can get a detailed topographic map from those positions, which we can then drape all of the information over. And that's what we're going to be doing here.